What you saying people? Back with a bang. This is the money management. It is Monday. That means it is time for your Monday motivation. And as always, like every single Monday, I'm here to motivate you guys and of course to get you up and ready for this upcoming week. But not only that, obviously today is June the 1st. That means it is a new month. So that means you can also use this Monday motivation not only for this week, but for the rest of the month. It is the first day of the week, but it's also the first day of a new month. So it is time for you guys to get up and running, up and ready, and time to have a great month. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to level up. We're going to be talking about why it's important to level up. And I'm also going to be explaining to you guys about five or six different ways why you need to level up. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because as humans, our duty is to grow, to keep improving, to get better, not to be stagnant, not to, you know, waste away, not to decline. And as you guys know, on this channel, I'm here to help winners be created. I'm here to help people with high driven goals, high achievers do well, become more successful, get closer to financial freedom, more control of their time, all the good stuff as always. So when it comes to leveling up, that's including, you know, who you are tomorrow, who you are in a few months, who you are in a few years. But like I said, today, I want to focus on the person who you'll be in five years. And why? Well, because the person you will be in five years depends largely on many different factors. And I'm gonna go over those you know, five or six different factors today. And hopefully by the end of the video, you can understand exactly what it's gonna take for you to level up over the coming years. So the person you will be in five years. Well, to start off with, it largely depends on the books you read. The books you read today, tomorrow, the rest of the year. The rest of the next four years. The books you read are gonna largely determine what kind of person you become. Because that means you could end up becoming a person who chooses to read books over watching Netflix, you could become someone who's, you know, reads 10, 15 pages of their book every single day. But what is the reason for you reading? Well, when it comes to reading, you're going to enhance your knowledge. You're going to learn new things. You're going to learn about things you want to do. You're going to learn from people who have already done those things. Reading helps you to become creative. Not only that, it helps you become more intelligent as you pick up more facts, you learn more, you understand a lot more. And of course, it's going to benefit you in the long run. So for those of you who have never picked up a book, there's no better time to pick up a book than right now. Start this month thinking to yourself, I'm going to read 15 pages of my book each and every day. I'm going to read 10 pages of my book each and every day. I'm going to read one chapter each week. I'm going to read two books every year. It doesn't matter. It's up to you guys. We all have the opportunity to read books. Go to your local library, get an ebook, get files online. There are so many possibilities. But I've got to tell you to start off with, you need to focus on what books you are reading when it comes to how you develop over the next five years. Now, the second thing I'm going to talk about is the habits you adopt today. So what kind of habits will those be? Good habits or bad habits? Unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize that we have good habits and bad habits, and both of these shape us. So you could choose to pick up good habits today. Eating healthy, sleeping, getting enough sleep, getting enough rest, socializing, learning, budgeting, tracking your expenses, and way more things. Good habits come in everything. How you talk to people, how you behave, how you act, how you look at things. Good habits come in so many different forms, and you guys need to realize that. So start off today by taking up good habits. Habits like, for example, something simple like brushing your teeth every day. That's a good habit. You know, it sounds funny, it sounds generic, but actually that's a great habit. Brushing your teeth in the morning when you wake up and in the night before you go to sleep. These are good habits. Add to that, things like reading are good habits. Things like studying things are good habits. Things like, you know, writing down your goals. Those are the kind of things I'm talking about when it comes to good habits. How you execute those things each and every day, you know, how you stay disciplined, how you stay consistent. These are good habits you need to take up. So if you don't already take up good habits, you need to start doing that today. Because over the next five years, those good habits will shape you. Over the next 10 years, those good habits will shape you. Over the next 15, 20, 30 years, those good habits will shape you and dictate your life. The third thing which will help you level up over the next five years, the people you spend your time with. Now, over the past few days, you know, I've chilled with a couple of my friends, I've you know, spent time with people, and these people I realize have a great impact on my life. You guys will already know this, but your five closest friends, they're gonna shape who you become. You are the average of those five friends. So if you choose to be with good people, you choose to be with bad people, you choose to be with whoever, those kind of people are gonna shape how you become. So again, I'm gonna tell you, choose who you spend your time with wisely. These people could have a great impact on you. These people could have a bad impact on you. For those of you, you know, who are young ones, you know, teenagers or whatever, you know what it's like when you get influenced by people. You pick up certain habits, you do things because other people around you are doing them. And we don't understand that, you know, as we get older, unconsciously, the same thing happens. You choose to be around people who are intellectuals, who do good things, who want to better themselves, you're gonna be just like those people. But if you choose to be with people who you know, have bad habits, do the wrong things, don't make good decisions, unfortunately, you're also going to be just like those people. So choose who you spend time with wisely. The fourth thing to help you level up. The food you eat today. Not only today, unfortunately, guys. It doesn't mean you can eat salad today and fruit today and get away with eating junk the rest of the days. The food you eat today, tomorrow and forevermore is going to shape you. And it's literally going to shape you. The food you eat could be fruits, it could be drinking water, it could be you picking up an apple instead of a donut, it could be you eating pretzel sticks instead of 
Cheetos. For every one of you, you know, food habits are different, food choices are different. If it means going vegan, then you have to do that. For me, that's not an option, but for you, it might be an option. But the foods you pick up today, are they high in cholesterol? Do they have a lot of protein? Is it purely carbs? Are you eating a balanced diet? Where is your nutrition? Where does your health lie? A lot of that is based on what food you take up. People can go to the gym each and every day for five hours if they want. If they don't eat the right foods, their body's not gonna see the right changes. Make the correct changes by eating the right foods. Shape your body and shape your future by eating the right foods, what's good for your brain, what's good for your body, getting you the right nutrients. And of course, over the long run, that health is gonna be the equivalent to wealth for you. So start today by eating the right foods and continue to do that throughout the future. So the next thing I wanna touch on, the conversations you engage in. Whoever you engage with, whoever you socialize with, those conversations that you have are gonna really shape who you become. If you want to level up and stop stagnating, start growing, have the correct conversations. You see older people, have the conversations. What mistakes did you make? What would you have done if you were 18 again? What would you advise me to do? How do you think I should do this? I'm not saying be a sheep, but find the right advice by using the right conversations. Converse with the right people and say the right things. Don't be that person who's so focused on gossiping, talking about what other people are doing, that you forget to live your own life and focus on you. You, at the end of the day, are in control of your own life. If you're gonna be focused on other people's conversations and what they're doing, you're not in the right place. You need to get your head in the right place and start focusing on you. Have the correct conversations and make sure you focus on what you can do to better your life. Speak to the correct people. That doesn't mean you have to be friends with only old people, but it does mean that you have to have the right conversations with whoever you're hanging with, whoever you chill with, whoever you talk to. And that's not only face-to-face. -face. That can come from social media, that can come from text, that can come from interacting on Instagram. Have the correct conversations to help you level up. And trust me, it's gonna work. Now lastly, when it comes to leveling up, I'm gonna to touch on the actions that you take. Each and every action you take is gonna decide whether you level up or not. Leveling up is a huge part of life. And a huge part of leveling up is what actions you take. So that goes by your choices, your decisions, what you want to do, what you don't want to do, what you have to do, those kind of things. And eventually you're gonna see those actions, you know, make stuff happen. For example, when it comes to money, can you get, you know, a $5 note and spend it on Subway? Yeah, sure you can but also you can put that $5 into many different things. When you start understanding that you can change this, to this, to this, to eventually this, you're gonna realize that there's so many opportunities to make more money with your money. People always say, if I had a million, I'd make five million. No, you wouldn't, because you don't make $10 from $5. You don't make $1,000 from $100. So what makes you think you can make a million from 500,000? It doesn't work like that. You have to start off small. So like I said, Get that money, start doubling up. Get that money, start finding opportunities. Start finding how to get a return on your investment. Of course, you know, in our everyday lives, we have to level up. For example, another way of leveling up, for me, yesterday I ordered a load of new smartwatches. New ones, better models, you know, faster models, with better softwares, that's all a part of it. This body you see on my wrist, this is my first ever smartwatch. This came out March last year. And of course, I love it, you know, I've got a load of them still, but you still have to level up. That happens with everything. Apple didn't keep the iPhone 5 for you know, 10 years. Samsung didn't keep the Samsung Galaxy S2 for 10 years. It doesn't work like that. You have to level up. That's what updates are for. That's what improvements are for. That's what all that kind of stuff is for. We get better, we improve, we move forward. And of course, we make adjustments to better our lives. We want to have a good life at the end of the day. So you have to take the right decisions. So for you today, hopefully you take the right decision. For you this month, hopefully you take the right decisions. Added to that, hopefully you take the right actions, you converse with the right people, you speak to the right people, you get the right friends, you take the right people around you, you make the correct choices, you do all of the above. I believe in every single one of you, and if you're watching these videos, you're at the right place. So I hope you guys start taking actions, start bettering yourself, start doing the right things when it comes to reading, learning, all that kind of stuff like I've mentioned throughout this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, it is a new month, so it's time to be great. Five months down, seven to go. How are you gonna spend those months? I know it's been a weird year, but it doesn't matter. We all have the same year, it's time to make it happen. As always, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, comment as well, and of course, share these videos with your friends so we can get them out to more people. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. What I got money to making, you got money to making. See you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace. It's game over. How could I have any fucking time with all this weight?